Hi loves, welcome back to my channel. If it's your first time here, hi, my name is Sarah and if you're returning, thank you so much for coming back. It's actually been quite a long time since I sat down to record a video, I think about three weeks. Today's video is going to be like a life update video why I haven't been posting a lot. I know this is like my what, second life update this year. But yeah, this is going to be like a life update video to tell you guys why I haven't been posting a lot and yeah, just basically explain myself. So before we do that, we're going to do a QA and I'm going to be showing you guys how I spread my hair. This video is sponsored by Lula Hair. Thank you so much to them for trusting me to sponsor this video. I'm going to be showing you guys how I installed their fringe wig. This is actually my first time of trying a fringe wig. So this, so we're going to see how this goes. I, I've tried, I tried it a couple of times and it didn't look that bad. So hopefully it doesn't look bad to today. I'm just going to read out the information about this hair. It is a full 250 density long straight hair. And it's 18 inches and it has bangs. I realized that I usually don't say the price of the wigs, but then I'll start saying the price of the wigs so you guys can know. And I'm also going to be converting it to Nigerian Naira so in case you want to get it. While I wait for the website to load, I'm just going to start installing this hair. This wig retails for $122 and I think that's about 50k or thereabouts. Yeah, it should be about around 50k. So for the quality and for the length, because it's 18 inches, I think the price is okay. And you can also curl this hair because from pictures I've seen, other so people are curling the hair. I don't know if you guys can see it. Um, I'm not going to talk too much while I install it, just so I can do this properly because <laughs> I'm new to this and I really don't want to mess it up. The good thing I like about this hair is that it's full but it's not heavy. Yeah, it's full enough, not, it's, not, it's not excessively full, you know, it's just full enough and then, wow, <laughs> oh, I don't think it looks bad. Let me not hide myself, many people now say what is this, let me fix it properly first. I look like you do not much. <laughs> So this is what the hair looks like. I'm going to leave all the links to this hair in the description box below in case you want to get it. Ship worldwide. So it got to me in Nigeria in about 10 days. Yeah, it got to me in about 10 days. So yeah, that was quite, that's quite fast because it's coming from China, texture. I don't have any problem with it. Highly recommend. And you guys tell me how I look. I think I look different, but in a good way, not in a bad way. I really hope I'm wearing this thing correctly. I don't even know if there's a correct way to wear fringe wigs, but yeah, I hope I'm wearing it correctly. Sha. Anyway, let's move straight into this video. Um, so first of all, I'm going to start with a Q&A. I think about two weeks ago, I told you guys to ask me questions on my Instagram. So if you're not following me, I'm going to see my Instagram top right here. Make sure you follow me. So I told you guys to ask me some questions on my Instagram, and I said I'll be answering it in a video. So this is the video I'll be answering it in. So I'm going to make this like a Q&A plus life update. Anything that I didn't get asked about, and I think you guys, and I think I should have this you guys on. I'm going to let you know. So yeah. You guys ask me questions and I got quite a number of questions. Yeah. So the first question, I'm gonna start from down because like that's the first, first person that asked. But um are you still studying online with your university in China? No, I'm not studying online with my university in China. I don't know if you guys are comfortable with me saying your name. So it says, have you ever looked around? Have you ever looked at the people around you? or what you have for a, and for a moment get emotional um not really this is something i kind of had to be intentional about because it was almost like 
if something good happens to me i don't focus on the good thing i'm, I'm kind of focusing on the ne next thing that i'm going for and forgetting that what i have now or here what i have now is something i prayed for in the past i know you get what i mean so it's almost like not giving myself credit so let's say i wanted to hit 60k subscribers and then i hit 60k for subscribers but i don't even celebrate i'm not even happy for it my goal is like how am i going to get to like 70k subscribers next i didn't get what i'm saying but yeah it was something i had to be intentional about and just take a step back and chill and be grateful for it but then apart from that like there are just random times that i just sit down and i think of my life like a few months back i wasn't in this place so yeah and for the people around me i'm always grateful for the people that god has blessed me with so now i'm answering the questions long i don't want this video to be too long mm. next question what's your opinion on biracial or interracial relationships i'm for it i'm for it who doesn't love half caste children <laughs> apart from that don't mind me like i'm for it i don't have a problem with it i actually don't have a problem with it i see nothing wrong with it and um what's the secret to your glowing skin <laughs> it's god it's god <laughs> <laughs> um please i'm in ghana how can i order weeds from china um for example this hair that i'm speaking about the sponsors of this video they ship worldwide so all you need to do is go to their website and all countries are there so you just pick your country and they ship to your country and i'm sure it's free shipping if i'm not mistaken but yeah i'm also going to leave like a discount code so you get some money off if you want to get it um are weeds from china expensive not really they're actually cheaper than weeds you get from like your hometown or whatever so, yeah. i feel like you need to start posting more often on instagram and youtube i want to i want you to make it um this person is probably coming from <laughs> i feel like this person is probably coming from like a very innocent place but it's not instagram it's not only instagram and youtube that you can make it just to be clear there are many other ways you can make it yeah no questions keep being amazing thank you love you <sighs> i'm seeing a lot of nothing question blah 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 you get the vaccine when students are allowed to go back to china i don't know it depends i feel like it will be i feel it depends i feel like at the point the vaccine will become like compulsory for everybody to take it so i don't know um, are you still enrolled in your course? No, I plan to start my business. I'm really anxious and scared. I have exams, jam and YX, so I'm excited to wait till I'm done. I'm saving up for the things I need. I purchased some things already and some things are on the way. I'm doing this on my own and it's like a heavy load. Wow. First of all, you're doing amazing. For the fact that you're still in secondary school and you haven't even you haven't even graduated from secondary school, I'm assuming you have been having type of this. You hadn't graduated from secondary school and you've already started buying stuff for your business. First of all, you're doing amazing. Very amazing. I feel like that's a very good mindset for somebody. You're literally just finishing high school and already thinking of starting something. That is and I you should keep at that, keep at that mindset and trust me. You go far, the sky will be your limits. Just be consistent with your business and don't give up, even if it doesn't seem always in the beginning. Don't give up. Yeah. Um, how do you stop procrastinating? I just learned to become intentional about everything. It's not something I've stopped completely, but something I hope to stop very soon. But I just said becoming intentional about certain things and stop giving excuses. Like there's always a way out of something, but instead of being relaxed and relying on that problem, I find a way out which helps me not to procrastinate. I don't know if you are mean. Yeah. And I try to be intentional, I'll drop my phone, drop whatever it is that is distracting me, get up from bed, make my bed, because that will make me to not want to go back to bed. So I hope that helps. How do you cope when you're emotionally down? Honestly, prayer and worship songs, like it helps. It works like magic. I'm not even joking. I, I can literally be down, I'll break down, I'm crying, I'm literally having a panic attack, maybe, or something. When I just play worship music or I just pray, it's almost like the burden will just carry me. It happens, it works all the freaking time. All the freaking time. Yeah. So, what's my skincare routine? Huh. I don't have a skin, I don't have a religious skincare, skincare routine right now, just to be clear. 
and I know I'm not doing a lot, so I'm going to be honest, I'm not doing a lot for my skin. Do you have a man? What are your sales marketing strategies? Oh, I feel like I've shared that in a video already, but then I'm just going to give like a short, quick run through. The first thing I do is, um, I've shared this in a couple of videos before, you should check my Tell Your Old Boss series, but I try to promote as much as possible, I promote and I promote as much as possible. I'm very. I try to be kind to my customers, nice to my customers, and I try to check up on my customers. How is the product working? How is this? That hope this was good. Um, I do sales from time to time, and that's basically it. Yeah, that's like those are like my main marketing strategies, and I'm consistent. Are you ever going back to China? For now, I don't know. When will you do a vlog with your boyfriend in it? Mm -hmm. I actually have no question, but you are doing amazing and you're very inspiring. Thank you so much. Do you miss China? Yes, I miss China a lot. Yesterday I was speaking to my friend, Josie Fusami. She's also here on YouTube. You guys should check out. If you liked my China vlogs, you should check out her channel. She does a lot of China vlogs, so you should check out. I'm going to link her channel maybe somewhere. Just for some yesterday I was talking to her and I was talking about how much I miss China. But yeah, I miss China. So yeah. I have no question. You're amazing. You're very inspiring. Thank you. Hey Sarah, are you still a student? For now, no, I've been finding it hard to get motivated with my weight loss to be precise. What keeps you going? Um to be honest, I'm not I won't say I'm actively or want serious weight loss journey, but then of course I want to lose some weight. What keeps me going? The fact that I know that I don't want to be fatter than I already am. Yeah, that's like the biggest motivation. And just knowing where I want to be. Yeah, that kind of keeps me motivated. But I'm such a sweet tooth. Mine is actually like quite bad. But I'm working on it now. So that can be hard when you're a sweet tooth. When you have a sweet tooth, it can be so hard. But I feel like if you know what you want, if you know the goal, just set your mind on the goal. Forget about how hard it is or whatever. Just set your mind on the goal. And just like I said, whatever you're putting into your mouth is doing so much harm to you than, than it's doing good to you. And yeah. Why don't you talk about your relationship on YouTube because it's my channel and not our channel. Mm. Maybe when it gets to that point, I will talk about my relationship on YouTube. Thank you for answering the questions, but I feel like it's getting quite long. So I'm just going to like come out update you guys. I just want to do like a quick, 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 quick update for you guys. Um, first of all, I know I don't, I don't. I don't owe anybody an explanation for anything, but then I feel like it would be nice and kind, yeah, to like come on here with an explanation for you guys and tell you guys like why I've been in way, why I haven't been consistent on YouTube. I know the last time that I made like a video of me talking, I said, oh, I'm back and I'm going to be posting consistently and then I never came back. <laughs> Not really never came back. I used to come out like drop videos and then disappear, drop videos and disappear. Yeah, so I'm going to give you guys like reasons for that. 2021 hasn't been my best year and at the same time it has kind of been like my best year. I don't know how to explain this but um, I feel like I've faced the most challenges this year but at the same time I've faced the most wins this year. Yeah, I feel like that balances it out, yeah. So, um, that's about how this year has been. So, and then I said about two more businesses and um, which one of them is sending stuff to China, sending stuff like makeup stuff to China. So if you want makeup, makeup stuff, you're trying to get makeup stuff, I sell makeup stuff, so you should grab yours now, add me on WeChat. So, and then the other one, I'd rather not see, I'd like to keep it private. So I started two more businesses and it has been going well so i i told you guys in one of my vlogs that i got somebody to help like i had somebody to help but that person wasn't taking the business as seriously as i wanted them to or as seriously as i would like them to so i had to let her go so um i was basically it was almost like i was starting again like i was not going to do this by myself again because me like if you're going to do something if i do something whatever i find myself doing i like to do it like 
in all my heart, all my life. I like to take it seriously. So that, that's how I kind of expect somebody else to take my business. So, but right now I'm working on um, hiring like two more people to help. And another thing is to be honest, like, I put a lot of pressure on myself, a lot, a lot of pressure on myself. Um, and one thing I had to sit back and relax, sit back and understand is that when you're doing a lot, one has to suffer. Yeah, one has to suffer. And in this case, it was like YouTube that was suffering when I really didn't want it to be YouTube to suffer because YouTube is like, YouTube is like my baby. YouTube is like my baby, guys. Um, so YouTube was the one suffering, but I didn't want it to be that way, but it was that way. And the one I said in, the second one I said in Nigeria actually took off and started doing like so well. I thank God for that. So that was like double work. And to be honest, I'm so grateful to God. At the same time, it was almost like I was sad that I, I didn't have time for my YouTube. So it wasn't doing as well as I wanted it to. Yeah, that's because I didn't have time for it. So that's why I'm actively working on getting somebody to help me um so that aside so that happened that has been keeping me busy um a lot of other mental issues <laughs> a lot of other um personal issues you guys know that i kind of have anxiety so nothing serious that i'm not dealing with or i haven't do into to that I haven't dealt with so I don't really feel comfortable like talking about my mental health here hopefully when I get comfortable enough I'll start talking about it so yeah that also happened I don't know if you guys know but one of my I'm just talking off of my head one of my goals for this year was to make new friends guys because I barely have friends <laughs> I don't know if you guys know but honestly this is that I can be lonely um, I'm somebody that's kind of kind of like a workaholic, so I barely ever make time for my social life. And I told myself like I'm going to make it balance. There's going to be a balance this year. But to be honest, I didn't even do that. But one thing I did was like I just like rekindled an old friendship. So um I kind of rekindled an old friendship, a friendship that has been there for a very long time with this certain person and we became really close like really really close we were staying together had somebody around and i didn't have to like be in my own headspace thinking like, overthinking my life i'm putting pressure on myself because you're just with somebody so just like you're happier i was going out a lot i was going out almost every day <laughs> um yeah and this person became somebody that i started tr like we've been friends for years but then like you know how you're friends with somebody for so long but then this friendship just became like stronger at a certain period of time yeah and then something happened this person that became that is practically like my sister we're literally staying together sharing everything with kind of um betrayed me so this person basically took my bank card and cleared my account. Yeah. I know. I know. And it was it was a lot of money. It was a lot of money. And it was really painful to be honest. Like and somehow somehow I shall found out. I'm not doing the story time on this. Guys, like it was so painful to me. I didn't nobody I <laughs> I was, I was in so much shock. So imagine somebody that you trust so much that you've built a relationship before, you became so close all of a sudden, does that kind of thing to you. As much as it is, thank God, like thank God for showing me this kind of person in my life, blah, 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 and all those kind of things. Like it's also painful. Like it's actually very, very painful. And it became like me always watching my back. Like I don't even know like who is really rooting for me, who I can trust who is actually down for me yeah um it became like that so i decided i just needed a change of space so i decided literally decided like two days later that i was going to move and i moved out of home i'm currently in abuja now i moved to abuja i literally moved moved but i'm not in my own place now because it was kind of like an impromptu thing so i'm staying with family now but just to staying together i'm staying with family now and i just want new beginnings i don't know how to explain it i just want a fresh not really a fresh start 
I wish I had my phone. It's literally two two hours away from home, so I'm still close to home. And if I like it here, I stay. If I don't like it here, I just go back home. But yeah, that's basically what happened. And that has that really affected me. Like without me even knowing, like every time something happens, it's just like, oh, sir, I need to chill. Like I can literally be looking at somebody that is talking to me and my friend, and I'm like, oh my god, I don't even know if this person has good intentions for me. Because imagine somebody you're so close to like that. You guys literally sleep on the same bed, live in the same house, and this kind of thing happens. So yeah, it just made me to become more watchful. Because I'm somebody that trusts. Like I can trust anybody. Like, I trust anybody, that's why I'm not even shy. It's crazy, it just shows me like, that I shouldn't trust people and I don't want to keep talking about this thing because, yeah, most, at that period, like, sometimes I'll talk about it and I'll cry. Not because, because it's also painful losing a friendship that like, you know that you value because I actually value that friendship a lot and I have a genuine love for this person in my heart. Anyway. That's by the way. What else? What else? What else? That's basically it. Honestly, I don't want to go too in depth with this, but I just hope you guys like have an update on why I haven't been. I'm not going to come here and say, oh, expect bangers videos back to back from me. No, I'm not going to say that. I'm just going to let let it flow, let life happen, and yeah. Thank you guys so. Thank you so much to those of you that checked up on me those of you that keep checking up on me thank you so much it means so much to me and honestly like if if i was you like i would have probably stopped watching it because i don't like all serious people and you're not going to be serious to this channel to scare out here but thank you guys so much please don't stop watching my channel please keep subscribing keep supporting me and yeah i'm in a new space and i don't want to really i haven't no, I didn't record like moving vlogs or anything because I'm not in my place and I don't want to like really settle down. If I decide that I'm going to go apartment hunting or I'm going to get my own place, then yeah, of course I'm going to like record that journey for you guys. Thank you so much for supporting me. But for now, like I don't know yet. I really don't know. And also like moving out is a lot of money and you need to like be prepared. So I knew that one day I'm going, to say I'm going to move out and all that, but I didn't just think it would be so soon. So I'm just like, I just want to chill and think everything looks good. So I'm just taking one step at a time and I don't want to rush myself as well. But I just knew that I needed that change. Yeah. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Thank you for always supporting me. It means the world to me. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Oh, yeah.